Well, welcome back. You know, when the 2020 Olympic Games in Tokyo were postponed because of the pandemic, athletes around the world were heavily impacted. Mm -hmm. And that includes one Houstonian who has been chasing her Olympic dream for a decade now. And it certainly has not been easy. Despite six knee surgeries, Taekwondo athlete Victoria Stambaugh has stayed positive through it all. And guess what, folks? She is joining us. Right now, Victoria, it is so great to see you. And first of all, huge, huge congratulations. Take us back to, to early March because you were gearing up to go to the Olympics and then suddenly that plan changed. Yeah, no, thank you guys. Again, thank you guys for having me here. It's an honor. Um, yeah, so my Olympic qualification was back in March, March 12th. Um, and that was literally the last uh, Taekwondo tournament of the whole year. So I had my Olympic qualification tournament March the 12th, and then boom, the very next day, they go ahead and cancel all of the Taekwondo tournaments for the whole year. So it was like literally by the grace of God, I get my qualification tournament in, I qualify for the Olympics, and now I'm secured. So it's just a blessing because um, so many athletes still haven't secured their spot right. for the Olympics. And so it, that's um, very nerve wracking, right? Mm -hmm. So. I'm just very thankful that I can just kind of take a breather and just enjoy this time of qualifying for the Olympics. Absolutely. And of course, Tokyo, July 2021 will be your time to shine. We can't wait to see you then uh, during the Olympics. But talk to us about sort of your your road to the becoming an athlete that you are because born and raised in Pasadena, uh, you started Taekwondo at the age of just eight. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, so my dad was a professional boxer. He wanted to put me into a fighting sport. Uh, my parents decided Taekwondo, so I got into Taekwondo, um, and it really just went from there. I was a really good athlete pretty much at everything that I did, but um, I just kind of, you know, uh, did really well at Taekwondo, and uh, my parents kind of pushed me into that direction, and my coach as well. Um, and so, you know, I made U.S. national team at 15, um, at 17 years old, I went to Puerto Rico to make their national team with a great opportunity from them. Um, my family is Puerto Rican, so I went ahead in 2011 to compete for Puerto Rico. And so it's, it's been a long journey. Well, and speaking of your long journey, Victoria, ACL surgery in 2010, ACL and meniscus surgery in 2012, and that list goes on and on. Six surgeries. Was there ever a time when you thought, oh my gosh, this is, this is just not going to happen? Oh, 100%. Um, my first ACL surgery, I was young. I was 16 years old, so I was like, okay, you know, just kind of come back from that. That never really went well, that surgery. Uh, in 2012, I tore my ACL and meniscus, and from that point on, I said, I'm done. I quit. I can't do this anymore. Like, it was too much for me. Um, I really felt the prompting that I really had to keep going for some reason. I don't know, but I did. Uh, and then uh, the following year, I had to get my ACL redone that I had back in 2010. So in 2013, I had two surgeries, basically. Um, and then again, in 2018, I had a meniscectomy of the meniscus. And then last year was actually my biggest surgery ever, um, where they went ahead and had to take out about 80% of my meniscus. Mm. Um, so that was the time where I said, I think I'm done. Um, mm. I don't know if I actually can come back from this, be an athlete, let alone qualify for the Olympics. I, I really didn't think it was possible. Um, so that was the, the moment for me where I was like, I, I don't know if I can actually do this. I don't think so. So um, it really took my faith and my perseverance to, to trust in God and just to persevere and keep going and to just trust God and just do it. And look it. what happens when you do that. I mean, you're look at Lindsey Vaughn, uh, female skier, U.S. athlete. I mean, amazing. She has that same story of perseverance. And I, and I love that you channel that. And I think that's what separates the elite athletes from everybody else. Because if you want it bad enough, you find a way to get up and do it again. And I think that speaks volumes to not only the person that you are, but how you were raised by your parents. Oh yeah, my parents, um, they're my biggest supporters. Obviously my, uh, my dad has been my number one fan. My mom has been my number one fan. Like I couldn't be here without them. Um, I'm so, so blessed to have them as my parents. And they have been the ones to just keep pushing me and come on Victoria, you got this. And just praying for me and just believing. Um, and so 
I mean, it was it was an army of people to to make this happen. Uh, mentally, you know, um, uh, uh, a mental coach, my you know trainers. Uh, so it was an army to to help me get this far. Absolutely. And uh, you haven't exactly been sitting around the past few months, <laughs> Victoria. <bonbons>. You're a student <laughs> at U of H, scheduled yeah. to graduate this fall after studying kinesiology. Congratulations! But also in the meantime, during COVID, I understand you and your fiance opened up your own facility. It's called Believe, Commit, Achieve Taekwondo and Parkour up in the woodlands. This is incredible. Yeah, thank you so much. Yeah, we're so excited. Um, after we we got a um, notification that the Olympics will be po postponed for next year, we said, you know what, let's do it. Let's do this now. And um, we're the type of people we overcome obstacles. And so this is a huge obstacle in our way, this pandemic. But we really, you know, kept faith uh, and just, just go for it. You, sometimes it's just got to go. You never know until you try, right? You say that all the time. But until you actually do that, you, you never know. It's so we, we went for it and here we are today. I'm actually at my facility. Um, so we're, we're finally open. Uh, there is a lot of pickups, but you know, I'm not, I'm not a stranger to that. <laughs> What's great too is parkour is wonderful for all ages. I see a lot of um, uh -huh. seniors doing this too to help with mobility and balance. So it's not just for young kids. Yeah, absolutely. Parkour is great. Um, and like Taekwondo and parkour, they have like very similar movements in some things and they um, they go well together. So um, this is actually the only parkour uh, gym in the Houston area. So I'm really, really excited and just blessed that we're here and, and we're open. Well, we are excited for you, Victoria Stambaugh. <laughs> Looking forward to Tokyo 2021. And uh, we can't wait to have you in studio, meet you in person. Maybe we'll take a class yeah. up at the studio one day. Oh, that would be yeah. cool. Could right? we come take a class? Yes, absolutely. I would love that. That'd be so much fun. Okay, we gotta we're going to do that. We're going to mark it down. Victoria Stambaugh, thanks again. Best of luck and congratulations on all your success. Thank you so much, you guys. Y'all have a good one. And to our viewers, if you would like to keep up with Victoria, very simple, just visit our website, HoustonLife.tv. Beautiful inside and out.